number one in the country. Night one of a back-to-back, -back and we're underway. Hobis. We said that he'd get the ball a lot, and he gets the first set. Well, right out of the gate, too, a bit of an out-of-system pass by Hobis, but he got it right back, even out of the back row. That just shows how often Northridge will go to number seven in black in this match. Here's Griffin Walters. Skyler Varga blocked and roofed because there is a lift called on Long Beach State. But I think they're going to challenge this. Or did they call that on the floor? We'll see. If it definitely was called on the floor, then they will challenge. We'll see on the replay here, Matt, that our first official thinks that the ball may have touched the ground. Now they change the call and go with a lift against Long Beach State. So since the official call on the floor is a lift, then no challenge from Long Beach State side. And CSUN will go up to nothing. Coach Knipe with a sheepish grin to our <laughs> second official. Not sure he likes the uh, overturn there. He can't challenge that. CSUN is top seven in the country in service aces, and they get one there. Well, already an out of system play, followed up by a service ace. First server here, Griffin Walters, putting some pressure on the home side. It's actually 3 0 CSUN right now as Varga gets blocked and roofed. CSUN off to a great start. Now service pressure, we talked about it in the keys of the match before the first serve, and already Northridge is showing some solid service pressure from the inline. Good swing from the back row, Satir Shapanis. Nice insistent play this time by Shapanis. The serve went to Briggs, got a good pass in. Knight establishing the middle of the court offense nicely from the back row that time. Nathan Harlan getting the start today, but has been a good server throughout the season. Doesn't put it over the net there. As CSUN will go back to serve with Hano Tail. 6'5", redshirt senior. Panis off the block, gets another kill. He's been their offense so far. Nice rebound by Shapanis after getting aced on that second serve, has come right back to score two points on offense. Now McRaven to serve. That jump float serve. Hovis. Whether it was into the triple block or into the net, either way, a Long Beach State point. Well, this is a great blocking lineup and matchup for Long Beach State with Shapanis, Varga, and Torwe in the front row against Hobus on the left side for Northridge. Hobus gets dug up by Harlan. Shapanis looking to tip it short. Varga going over the top of the block, but misses, and it's out of bounds. Donovan Constable, one of the better setters you'll find in the Big West Conference, says there's a good set from Aiden Knight, another great setter across the country as Simon Torwey gets a kill. Matt, it all starts with a pass. Perfect pass offense allows Aiden to go quick this time. This is a great turn from Simon. You can see two blockers on his wrist away. He sees them and goes cross body for the winner. Good serve from Skylar Varga. 
Chance for Shapanis again, off the top of the block. Gets another kill. They go to within one here. It's actually five serving six. Nice transition play by Long Beach State. They got the overpass, actually the overset. And they transitioned that counterattack nicely. Varga a little too hard there. As CSUN goes back up by two. The Matadors taking an early lead here. Just getting started here inside the Walter Pyramid. Number one, Long Beach State. Number 15, CSUN. As Kyle Hobis goes back to serve. He may be their best server. Oh, just misses down the line there. Now clearly you can see Northridge is targeting Shapanis in that serve-receive formation. Long Beach gets away with that one as Hobus misses it just wide, but clearly the service target is number eight in white. Well, he goes back to serve here. And goes with the jump float. Jalen Phillips from the right side. The red shirt freshman from Anaheim with the kill. Yeah, good look there. The first swing for Jalen Phillips, a six foot six, former track and field high jumper. You can see right there why. Gets his shoulders above the net, hits that one cross court. He's been a really good second option for CSUN this year. Harlan misses there. CSUN looking to go on another run. This is Malcolm King at the service line. And he misses there. So Long Beach State catches a break. So a couple of early attacking errors by the beach, Matt. Still kind of trying to find their rhythm here. Sensing that service pressure by Northridge. Let's see if Simon Torwey can get his serve going. There is a good serve from Torwey. He kind of found it against UC San Diego. As you see Satir Shapani's on the floor there, in celebration, that is. I think he ran into Simon's elbow on that celebration after the service ace. Torrey misses that time. Third service error so far for the beach. Phillips back to serve. Good pass there from Shapanis and McRaven fires it down. Another good connection through the middle we saw. McRaven and Aiden Knight connect a lot against UC San Diego, but that's a good sign right there as McRaven gets activated. Oh, good dig from Aiden Knight. Anoteo misses there, and Long Beach State's defense pays dividends. Phillips dug up by Mason Briggs. Oh, what a block, though, on the other end for CSUN. Nice job by Han Oteo to get his hands over the net. Quick transition set to the outside for Harlan, but Teo got his hands in the right position. Look at that left hand. Sealing off the angle and taking the block. Right side, it's Harlan going off speed. Constable with the swing. This is a very aggressive setter, and Constable gets a kill. Great swing on that counterattack. You gotta give Hobus a little credit for putting up a great set as well. Varga gets blocked back. Goes again, this time only one blocker up and it's no problem for him. 
Yeah, Long Beach is finding themselves here. They're getting a little more aggressive on their attacking. They're getting some one-on-one -on -one situations as well as you see Varga take advantage of it. Goes cross court to score their point. Long Beach State closing to within one again. Hobis missing there. And that's a tough miss for the redshirt senior. Now quality service pressure by Nathan Harlan, putting it on Hobis as the front row outside hitter. Make him pass and then approach to hit. And it pays off for Long Beach State. Has to be two-handed over. Opportunity for the beach. And Chapanis puts it away. Four kills now for Sotos. Discipline block and defense. You can hear the communication by the Long Beach State players communicating on that ball coming over as Mason steps in to take it. Then a nice counterattack. So now Long Beach State taking their first lead. Good swing, Kyle Hobis. No matter how he's been going, they will keep feeding him. They certainly will, and they keep setting him in a fast tempo as well. Regardless of where the pass is, you can hear Hobus calling for that go set or that fast shoot to the pin. That time going off the block. It's only his second kill on seven swings so far. But Graven gets dug up. Hobus looking for that deep corner, misses there. Serving substitution for Long Beach State. And Connor Bloom is going to replace Dearest McRaven at the service line here. Long Beach State looking to hit 15 first. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. Black and Roof, Long Beach State getting their second block of the evening so far, and they reach 15 first. We'll take a time out here on ESPN Plus. Be back for more Big West men's volleyball on ESPN. In preparation for this match, knowing that Phillips won't get a lot of overhead against the flow sets, Chapanis can help on the bick like he did that time. Serve into the net so the timeout works from Coach Theo Edwards. And well, it's not his timeout, but it works out for CSUN there as Donovan Constable will go back to serve. Good pass for Mason Briggs. As Hobus gets blocked back. I don't know if it's hang time or just tight but Simon Torrey gets it down. I think it's a, a little combination of hang time and it helps to be six foot 10 like Simon <laughs> Torrey. Don't tip it around number 11, he'll throw it down with two hands like that. And a blocking substitution now in the front row. You see Torrey talking to Nato Dickinson. So Aiden Knight, the setter is out. And we'll see who takes this second ball. Might be Dickinson here in right front, in the front row, as that is dug up, but out of bounds. Good play by Mason Briggs, though. Blocking roof. What a sequence for the beach. What a play by Long Beach State, Matt. Mason Briggs tracking it down as it went outside the antenna. He brought it back, and then Nato Dickinson getting the block point on the counterattack. And this is an interesting, as here's the ruling and it stays with Long Beach State inconclusive. For Theo Edwards, that's a pseudo timeout as well. Maybe icing the server in Skylar Varga who's been one of the more effective servers for the beach. Another block and another roof. Simon Torwe. Now Simon 
getting a little luck on this one as he got the block and then it hits Hobus on the way out. Unfortunately for Hobus, that one goes towards Long Beach State. Block number five on the evening for Long Beach State so far. Good serve. Almost 70 miles an hour there as that one sends long from Hobus. Well, Matt, the offense of Cal State Northridge has certainly cooled here in the back half of set number one, and the service pressure from Long Beach has heated up. When we were talking about out of system hits from CSUN. Good swing there from Malcolm King. Well, we might get a challenge here from Coach Allen Knight. A little extended conversation there for Coach Knight asking if our down official could see the ball make contact with the floor. It was a bit of a quick whistle by our first official. Mason Briggs thought he got the ball up off the foot. So no challenge, Aiden Knight back into the front row for the beach. And here's Hobus back to serve. Tarwick. Double block doesn't matter to him. You said it, Matt. The double block committing on Simon Torwey, and it doesn't matter as he's able to see it and then go cross body, just like he did on his first swing of this opening set. Simon Torrey averaging over 1.3 kills per set this year. as Jalen Phillips fires it down. Jalen Phillips can straight up jump out of the gym, Matt, as he did on this play. A great angle to watch this from. Look how high he elevates and then finds that seam between the block. Second kill for Phillips on just his fourth swing. Oh, the dump down. From Nathan Harlan. Great mid-air adjustment by Harlan there as he kind of overran that set a little bit. Anyone that watches international volleyball sees Irvin Engapeth do this play right here. That's sort of his calling sign, but Harlan doing a pretty good Engapeth impression. Torrey with the good serve. Opportunity for the beach. Dug back over. Dumped. That's kill number five on the season for number five, Aiden Knight. Well, Aiden Knight slowly getting into that offensive rhythm in the setter position. Throws it down with the left hand right in front of Hobus on defense. Yeah, two kills last weekend against UC San Diego. So that's a Three kills in three matches so far, as that is dumped back down from CSUN. A little bit of sloppy play, but the Matadors get the side out. Well, Simon Torwey getting in on the uh, defensive action there with a dig, unfortunately. Tends to just shoot it right over the net to the waiting Griffin Walters for the throw down. And now it's Lorenzo Bertozzi in to serve. Two handed over from Harlan. Good one hand save from Varga. Harlan is blocked back, but it's out of bounds. What a play by Long Beach State. Varga with the reaction to the one handed dig, and then the set by Shapanis all the way across to the left side for Harlan to go hard off the block. These chase downs that Long Beach State has been so good at, especially inside the Walter Pyramid this year. Shapanis. Another kill 
as he has five on six airless swings. Now Long Beach State doing a great job being efficient on the transition attacking. All hitters ready to be available for swings like that. Serve out of bounds there. It is set point in set number one for Long Beach State. Walters to serve. He was the one that went on a good run for CSUN earlier in this set. Harlan, though, with one blocker up, finishes off set number one. 25 18 this run in set number one. Griffin Walters. Well, no run this time as he misses the first serve of the second set. Nathan Harlan taking the first serve for Long Beach State. The Beach hit 308 in that first set, and they held CSUN to negative 083. Jalen Phillips from the right side. Maybe they can feed him a little bit more here in the second set. Absolutely, Matt. They definitely have to get Phillips going a little bit, and that's a good start for him here in set number two out of the back row in a non-perfect pass situation. Harlan. Good scramble play on CSUN's side to keep it alive here because Varga, that's blocked back, but net violation called on the Matadors. CSUN discussing whether to challenge that one, but no challenge is going to be made this time. It's really important for Cal State Northridge to limit their errors. We've seen a service error, now a net violation. It cannot give away too many free points to the beach. Obis dug up by Dearis McRaven. The middle playing some back row defense. And that hit the Torrey block and went out of bounds. Good kill for Malcolm King. Malcolm King. Getting a little laugh with his teammate there, Hobus, making sure he doesn't get hit by the ball that time off the block on its way out. King, the local product from Long Beach Poly, as that is off the tape and down for service ace. Good jump serve here, catches the tape for a trickler that just falls right in front of Harlan. Constable looking to do it again. This time, Shapanis leading everybody in the match so far. Six kills on seven airless swings. Yeah, good start to the match for Satiris. Sotos, as they call him, for short. Like to see that out of the front row and the back row. Here's Skylar Varga. Serve goes into the net there. CSUN with the slight lead so far in set number two. We saw that in the first set, though they actually went on a pretty good run. I believe they were up five to one at one point. As we've been seeing, especially as of late, Long Beach State has been able to kind of take leads and finish sets strong, as that is a service ace once again for CSUN. And this time, Kyle Hobus. Yeah, just an aggressive serve from Hobus. He got the green light after this toss. Good footwork and then drives it at the seam between Harlan and Chaponis that time. Two point lead for the Matadors as Hobus goes again. This time into the net. CSUN can be a little bit more feast or famine from the service line and they will always be as aggressive as they can be and that's probably why you see their serving numbers up from last year. They were 45th in the country last year, and there aren't that many teams across the country in men's volleyball in service aces per set. This year, all the way up to seventh. Well, that's a good adjustment by Coach Edwards to reestablish sort of the importance of aggressive serving. As that time, a little too aggressive in the front row there from Griffin Walters, missing and going out of bounds as 
Shapanis back to serve for the beach. Harlan taking the second ball here. Good pickup from Constable. Little messy play, scrambling on both sides. Harlan able to fit it through the triple block and down. Great heads up play by Long Beach State. You've got players out of position, stepping into set, hitting some non-perfect passes and out of system plays, but it was Harlan forcing it through the triple block that time to end it. But Coach Edwards having a little extra communication with our second official about something that maybe he wasn't in full agreement on. Didn't seem like it was something challengeable, so maybe a lift or a throw in the middle of that play. As Walters into the triple block, but gets it out of bounds. So CSUN with the side out. Well, an aggressive swing there by the 6'6 senior outside hitter, Griffin Walters, on that high ball set. Aiming for the hands and getting him to go off the block and out of bounds. Here's King back to serve. Torrey working it off the double block. Constable able to save it. Long Beach State, though, with the opportunity. Shapani gets dug up. Teo gets blocked and roofed. What a read block by Nathan Harlan. The left front blocker doing a great job getting back to his position on block and defense in transition and then reads it, gets a stuff down on the middle blocker. That one went straight down. Almost unreal how straight down that one went. As Torwey. Good serve. Hope is somehow able to keep it alive. Torwe with the dig. High outside set for Harlan. Varga firing away from the right side in the back row. Skyler Varga putting a little something extra on that one as he rocketed it through the block and off of Hobus in the back row. Nice defense by Simon Torwey, but this swing right through the seam, just blasting it off Hobus. Good setting there from Aiden Knipe as well. Phillips, hard off the double block and out. Now Phillips making a good adjustment mid-air to find the hands on that swing. Not attacking it too sharp into the court, but hard off the hands through the back row. Harlan somehow able to find line and get another kill. It's a really smart swing by number nine in white, Nathan Harlan, trying to thread the needle down the line, attacking that pin blocker of the triple block. Gets a little lucky to find a clear path through, but scores the point nonetheless. Fifth kill for Harlan. Good swing, good block. As we hope Sotir Shapanis is okay, kind of fell down in the middle of that play. Either way, Long Beach State with a natural point. Hope is blocked and roofed. That is a great block by Long Beach State. They stay home on the perfect pass. Great reaction after they see the ball leave the hands from Constable. Look at that, three blockers against the big attack of Hobus to score another block point. Timeout called by CSUN. Four point lead for Long Beach State. Point lead coming out of the timeout for Long Beach State. Good dig by Sotos. Varga looking to two-hand it through the CSUN block. 
Play on, free ball opportunity. McRaven finding the floor. Well done by Long Beach State. I really like to see the attack line here of McRaven. Drives that ball deep and in the back third of the court. Really well done by him. Phillips hard off the block and out. Jalen Phillips now leading all CSUN members with four kills on eight swings. Yeah, solid attack there by Phillips out of the back row. A good adjustment by Harlan. Always good to get the touch. Hitter knows that Long Beach State blockers are always there. Varga responding off the block. There's Skyler Varga now with his fourth kill. It's a good matchup in favor of Long Beach State. Skyler Varga, six foot eight, coming in hard from the left side, going up against six one and six five blockers. Varga going hard off the hands for the point that time. The beach hitting 533 here in this second set of low. Hobis. Maybe his first kill in a while here. Just his third on the match. Oh, a nice little, re uh, sorry, Matt, a nice little wrinkle in the offense for Cal State Northridge as Hobus kind of came in for, we used to call that the X1 play where it comes way inside the court to hit from the left side, catching the Long Beach blockers by surprise. Serving going long there from Teo as Long Beach State will bring in their own serving sub. Connor Bloom with seven service aces on the year. Already two more than he had last year. If you could see in the crowd, they try to time their clap with what Connor Bloom does with the ball right before he serves it up. As there is a good swing from Malcolm King their middle now has four kills. Malcolm King able to go up and high for the wrist away swing that time. The former Jack Rabbit of Long Beach Poly. Running some offense through the middle there. And last year, a Big West freshman team selection as that is long out of bounds. CSUN missing some serves lately as that can happen with this uber aggressive serving team. Phillips, he's been the one to go to for CSUN lately. Yeah, he's been good in set number two. That's a great matchup for him. Hitting against Aiden Knipe on that pin from the left side, that one rotation where he attacks from the left side, scores that point. He's a two-time Big West Freshman of the Week this year so far. I know there are a couple of freshmen in Hawaii that are kind of gaining traction for Freshman of the Year, but Jalen Phillips has impressed as that one is off of CSUN and out of bounds. So Long Beach State will take it and Shapanis goes back to serve. Phillips again. Another point from the arm of Jalen Phillips. Not the cleanest kill that time as the contact from Phillips was a little off speed. Shapiris there for the move, but just not able to bring it back. Serving sub for CSUN and also a front row substitution. First of all, Lorenzo Bertozzi with the serve here. Near Eitan is in the front row, in the middle as that is a block and a roof. That one was mostly Griffin Walters. Yeah, good move there by the senior outside hitter for the Matadors. Getting only their fifth block of the match. Keeps his hands disciplined, doesn't reach. Points it back to area one for the block point. This is a team that can score in bunches. However, their serves have just been off kilter here in the second set. 
their seventh service error of the match so far. Long Beach State with six as Torwey goes back to serve. Free ball opportunity, Torwey calling off everybody to get that pass. Good block back. Is there a double contact violation called on the beach? There is. That ball blocked so hard back to Nathan Harlan. There's a double contact. Phillips missing on that serve. The beach up by four here in the second set. They're already up the match one set to none. Good pass from Hobus, and it sets up Griffin with Walters. That time, only one blocker up. Yeah, advantage for the Matadors that time as McRaven popped on the middle, leaving a one-on-one -on -one Varga against Walters, and Walters taking that inside route that time for the winner. And there's a double contact violation called on the Matadors and their setter constable. Something we uh, won't be seeing in the women's game next year. A save from Constable going awry there as Long Beach State, another good serve across the country in one spot this year as Nathan Harlan takes a shot at it and the timeout works there for Theo Edwards. So here is our first look at Near Eta. Coming in and filling in at middle blocker. Has gotten a good amount of starts this year though as well. This is his 15th match appearance on the year as a whole. As Shapani's good combination play wide open. Now there's a nice little look too as Shapani's goes inside for this attack. Catches Constable by surprise. As you can see, he tries to make the adjustment but Shapani's just up too high. A wide open angle for the swing. Oh, Phillips just looks like he's flying in from the back row there. He is a back row player there, folks. The former long jumper and high jumper pays off when you're jumping 12 feet from the net and landing at the net. He's trained with the U.S. National Collegiate Team and it's been showing off throughout this year as Long Beach State with the side out and they will bring in their blocking sub in Nato Dickinson. Last time when I took a little peek at how the play turned out, of course, he didn't get a chance to set, but it seemed like he was going to be the front row setter for Long Beach State. He even had a quick set to Simon Torwey last weekend. This time he gets a chance to swing, actually two hands it over. Phillips trying to go over the block but doesn't get it down in bounds this time. Skylar Varga with the serve here for the beach. Closing in on a set two victory. Interesting play from CSUN. Maybe the execution wasn't quite there as it's out of bounds. Set point for the beach. Hobus. 
trying to find the fingertips, but does not. And Long Beach State goes up in the match. Way, but hopefully they'll be able to accomplish that one at the end of the season. I'll just highlight what will still be on tap for Long Beach State next weekend. It will be UC Irvine, a top five team in the country ranked right now, who is playing and hosting Hawaii this weekend, actually right now, as the first point goes to the beach here. Of course, job's not over, that's for sure. CSUN can definitely make their way back into this match. Net violation. CSUN trying to bring over that third blocker there against Skylar Varga, but they get called for the violation. Yeah, just a little overly aggressive that time as they hit the net on the way up. Currently struggling to side out on offense, though, is the Matadors. Well, when they struggle, it seems like they're going to Jalen Phillips tonight. Phillips has been their outlet indeed, Matt as he gets another point added to his side. Pretty good in system ball and the left side attacker, the opposite actually hitting from the left side there for the point. I mean, numbers wise, he's the guy for them right now. Eight kills on 14 swings, hitting over 400 as Walters able to get that overpass put back down. Yeah, offensively for Northridge, Hobus and Constable just haven't really found their connection, and fortunately for them, it's been Phillips who's been able to pick up the slack. Yeah, Hobus, the man at the service line right now for CSUN, hitting negative 235 for the match, just three kills. Oh, that caught a little bit of the shoulder of Hobus, and there's a kill for Skylar Varga. One point lead for the beach here in the third set, looking to sweep CSUN. Matador is looking to get their first set victory of the evening. Or at least get some momentum going into tomorrow night's match. Free ball opportunity for the beach. Oh, what a fire down from McRaven. Just dropping the hammer. Tierras McRaven up high and hard with the wrist away. Put something special on that one and just crushes it. Yes, there isn't too much of a celebration from him and maybe that gives a little bit to the illusion of how easy he makes that kind of swing look. As there's a free ball opportunity for CSUN, put back over on two. And McRaven again. McRaven again. <laughs> Good rebound by Dierris there. Got the paintbrush on the first attack that didn't work out, but stays at the net and gets the overpass that he attacks to the opposite corner. There's the first one, the paintbrush. That usually falls. But defense got it up. Not that time. Long Beach State has just hit their stride as that should help. Seems like that was down, but we play on. It's going to be CSUN point. I almost guarantee that this will be a challenge. Yeah, Coach Knipe just waiting to see how the play finished. He was gonna challenge that one right out of the game. A replay of the point, as that was a quick challenge review, and it is Long Beach State No point. part of the ball can touch the floor, Matt, and that's extremely difficult for the libero to do in that situation, yeah. so. They come out of this timeout looking for more with Nathan Harley. Keeping the serve in there. Did Aiden Knight save that? My goodness. How did he do that right in front of us? The foot volley to keep it in play. <laughs> Unbelievable. Actually wondering if McCraven touched the ball on the block. Looked like it might have just gone off the net. Either way, Nathan Harlan able to respond for Long Beach State. <laughs> Harlan and Chapanis with a little contact with each other after the play ended. And they look at 
Aiden, like, they're not too sure who was supposed to hit that ball. Even the Long Beach scored the point. Another good swing from Malcolm King. Hey, he's been their other weapon offensively. For CSUN, that's five kills on six swings for King. He's hitting well over 600 for the match. As Jalen Phillips with the serve. Here's Torway blocked back. Chapanis. Play on so far as Varga gets popped up. Good diving save from Constable. Chapanis off the triple block, getting another kill. Good work by Long Beach, Matt, to give themselves multiple chances to swing. We'll see here on the replay. Sometimes you don't score on the first swing. You've got to work hard on defense and then aim for the high hands right there. Don't swing down into the triple block. Aim for those hands when you see six of them in front of you. And we've seen a number of these longer rallies kind of go all towards Long Beach State, but can't forget that CSUN is the one that's keeping these plays alive on the other side. They just haven't had the benefit of getting some of those points. No, it just goes to show that the Matadors can play those longer rallies, put pressure on Long Beach, but Long Beach able to work through those and win the longer ones, like you said. This one out of bounds and a good serve from Griffin Walters again. Maybe we'll see a run in this set as Griffin Walters had a good run in set number one. And he has been their first server throughout this match. Oh, Constable going over on two, showing the athleticism and spiking it down. Uh, that serve goes out of bounds. You can see the top referee, Dusty Orvis, kind of trying to fix our camera, our net cam. Got, a, got hit on a previous rally. Oh, there it goes. So unfortunately for us, no net cam for the time being, unless, well, maybe the angle has been fixed from our top referee, Dusty Orvis, as that is another service ace. We don't need Dusty to worry about the camera. Let's just make sure we make <laughs> the right calls up there on top of the stand. Either way, we we thank him for doing a little double duty for us. Chapanis coming off of a service ace, his first of the evening, looking for number two, as there's a good dig by Chapanis. Did Harlan get a Matador arm? No, he did not. So here comes Malcolm King. Great pass from Mason Briggs, but Satir Shapani is unable to find the floor inbounds there. Yeah, a couple of errors here offensively for Long Beach State, just trying a little too hard, I think. Season looking to work their way back into this third set. Just down two, well now down three. Their 10th service error of the evening. Serve into the net there from Torwi. Donovan Constable 
has been really coming into himself as a volleyball player. Hasn't been afraid of anybody, says his coach, Theo Edwards. Good swing from the back row. Shapani's looked like he had a wide open net. Yeah, it's a much cleaner play that time. Great pass, sets up a solid offense. Aiden continuing to go quick, but through the back row this time. Keeping the Matador blockers guessing. Phillips blocked and roofed there. Really solid move here by Skylar Varga. He got all of this one. Quick step over and then just staying square to the attacker for the block. McRaven. Good take by Constable. Hobus able to work it down. That is Kyle Hobus' just fourth kill of the match. Well, that's a surprising stat right there, Matt, but quality defense by the Matadors to get the dig and then able to convert it. And Hovis goes back to serve. McRaven talked about the paintbrush usually going down. It went down there. Yeah, told you it works most of the time. <laughs> For McRaven, that is his fifth kill on eight airless swings. He's hitting 625 for the match. Harlan firing away there, but missing. Now in a very aggressive toss that time from Harlan, just missing on the connection, sending it long. Ten service errors on either side for the match. McRaven missing there. CSUN looking to work their way back into this here in set number three, trying to extend this match. Just down two. Near Ata with the serve. Two-handed over, opportunity for the beach here. Varga. Doesn't matter with that triple block in front of him, he's still able to find the kill. Well, Northridge still making Long Beach play. Extended rallies, more than one swing, good defense here. This one, another good dig, but Constable just running out of real estate. Not able to bring that one back. Back in to serve Connor Blue. Phillips seems like he's hanging in the air forever, but unfortunately could not keep it in play. Phillips trying to turn that one down the line. He ran out of room as that attack finds the antenna. Long Beach State has been able to get on these runs right towards that 20 point mark. Good diving save by Bloom. Chapani's joust. What a save this play goes on. Varga. That is a block and roof for CSUN. I think that ball might have gone into the antenna after the block, Matt. Coach Knipe flashing the green card here. The challenge video check request coming in. Thinking from our... But did the ball actually hit the antenna? What does Joseph Sloat say? He says it stays with CISA. So Lorenzo Bertozzi comes back in to serve for the Matadors.
Bertozzi, one of two Italian born players on this Matador squad. Was a regular starter last year. This year taking a little bit more of a serving role as Varga off the double block, able to respond for Long Beach State. Varga just able to go up and attack this ball mat at such a high point, opening up some cross-court angles that only he can hit. Really coming into his own here. Look how high he elevates and hits that cross-court winner inside the block. And Varga goes back to serve his eighth kill on 18 swings. Triple block put up and down for Long Beach State. That is just a textbook triple block, Matt. Good serve from Varga as Phillips blocked back. Shapanis able to find the floor again, leading everybody in the match with 10 kills. Another solid block, good cover by the Matadors, but they just give a free ball away and that's advantage Long Beach State all night long. Long Beach State hits 21st. That one is long from Malcolm King. Long Beach State's block having an effect on the CSUN offense. This is night one of a back-to-back -back as we will play all over again in Northridge. Good swing there as Jalen Phillips has been the impressive offensive force for CSUN tonight, nine kills. Phillips has been the bright spot on the offensive side for Northridge. What a great swing through that high seam that time by the opposite attacker. Harlan with the off speed. Hobis dug up and a good put back down from Malcolm King. Solid heads up play there by number 15 in black, Malcolm King. Gets back to the net, ready to block, and gets rewarded as that ball came across. Torrey unable to get it over the net there. Little misconnection. And a timeout for Coach Allen Knight. Little bit of time to talk. To Knowing that they've got their home game on the back end of the home and away makes them just as dangerous as home at home where they're comfortable to play and knowing that they can go the distance and defend their home court as well. Wow, the second kill of the match might be a season high for Aiden Knight. Might be a career high, <laughs> perhaps even for Aiden. Like to see him being involved offensively though when he gets the opportunity to. He's worked extremely hard in the gym, out of the gym, gone through some adversity during his career here as well. As he gets replaced in the front row by a blocking sub in Nato Dickinson. Long Beach State looking to close out CSUN here. There's a good swing. Maybe we've been waiting for that one all night long from Kyle Hobus. Yeah, where was that in set number one, Matt? You know, and set number two when they needed it the most. Still down by four, but that's just a little glimpse of what Kyle Hobus can do in the front row. Just his fifth kill and still hitting in the negatives. Two-handed over, and that is an opportunity for the beach. Hobus dug up. 
Good rally here, and it works for CSUN. Now Northridge somehow able to get away with that one and a little extra contact. Thinking that they're playing basketball, running some pick and rolls or some screens there. <laughs> <laughs> Constable able to win the joust that time. Near Aton kind of got up a little slow. He seems fine though in the front row, the middle blocker for CSUN. And there's a good swing from Satiri Shapani's kill number 11. Yeah, nice, re nice rebound by the beach that time. That pass more in system. They're able to reestablish that bit connection. Chaponis with his favorite wrist away shot that time to area five. Torwe missing there. That was 73 miles an hour on that serve. Here's Constable, misses there, and that leads to a match point opportunity for the beach. Phillips, dug up by Chapanis. Harlan. Harlan again. The quicker set works, and the beach able to win it in straight sets over CSUN. Highly competitive, even though it went only three sets. Yeah, highly competitive. Yeah, that's from Tori. Football. They step up to the chair, they take the lead. With confidence and style, they plant the seed. A transformation with every snip. Bringing out the best with every clip From fades to trims, they work their art Crafting looks that set us apart They're more than just cutters, they're sculptors too Creating masterpieces, that's what they do Barbers, they're the keepers of the vibe Shaping our looks with every stride In the chair, we trust their hands To give us cuts that make us stand They're the confidants, the ones we share Our stories with, as they work with care Listening closely to every word As they shave our hair, their skills absurd With razor sharp and clippers humming They turn dreams into reality, no bluffing From classic styles to the latest trends They're the ones on whom we depend Barbers and the keepers of the vibe Shaping our looks with every stride In the chair we trust their hands To give us cuts that make us stand It's more than just a job, it's an art with passion and precision they impart A sense of confidence, a boost of pride With every cut, they're by our side So here's to the barbers, the artists of the blade In their hands, our looks are made They're the ones who make us feel brand new Barbers, this one's for you